Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of Dranglaic. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Tales of Dranglaic. Uh, in the last episode we reached the safe spot in uh, Earthen Peak with the Sun Altar. Today we're going to be continuing. Yeah, that's about as, <laughs> as much uh, that I can say about this episode. We're going into Earth and Peak. Honestly, the thing is, it's been a little bit since I've played. Mainly because, you know, Christmas was coming up. And, you know, it's Christmas. Like, decorating, family, all the usual. So, I'm gonna be honest with you that Tales of Drang Lake was not the biggest priority on my mind. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back because... You know, it's still something that I really enjoy. As in this mod, I'm not like talking about the like let's playing in general as a concept. I like that as well. What the fuck am I talking about? This is like the <coughs> most nonsensical commentary ever. Oh hey, oh hey, there as well. Um. Yeah, when you skip a few days of recording, this is what you end up with. You end up making absolutely no goddamn sense. See, now, I thought for a second that we might have a flask shard here, but I completely forgot that this is not where we have a flask shard. In fact, this just does some bullshit. Uh, so coming here was not smart and what I'm probably gonna end up doing is we'll go back to the bonfire because well it depends on how the poison is building up we still have five estus actually we should be okay no 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 we should we should be good here never mind Oh fuck, okay, we're not alright. For a second I thought we were, but we're not. God, the poison in this game is... I talked about this in one of the episodes, right? That I kind of have mixed feelings with poison... Oh shit. Well, okay, I guess the game decided my fate for me. Let's just go ahead and try it again. Let's just Let's just say that. Okay, so what I'm gonna try do, to do is be a little bit smarter and lure this guy so that, yeah, so that he kills himself with the poison. These guys die, yeah, they do die from one round. They don't have that much HP. Cool. Let's just take the safe option. So yeah, I was just gonna say this is like a recent pattern, but I, it almost seems like these like L-shaped uh, ledges are my like new biggest enemy. This is... oh fucking hell, I was just about to say, is she gonna do the stupid explosion spell? Jesus Christ, that's fast. Uh, yeah, these are like my new enemies. I died exactly the same way in um, the last Dark Souls playthrough. Which is still going on, holy shit, I have to seize. Okay, there's gonna be a cut sneeze because that just clipped my audio to hell. Um, normally I'm a semi-quiet sneezer. I'm not like, you know, that's like a dad sneeze, you know. That's how most dads sneeze when they let one off, it like fucking sounds like an explosion going off. Oh, oh, okay. Is he gonna be like super fast? I think he's super fast. Oh, he knocked off the. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, he's super fast. I kinda had a feeling. He's gonna eat the dude, though. If you don't know, there is a completely pointless hidden mechanic with this boss that you can knock off those pots which have little dudes inside them, and the covetous demon will end up uh, 
eating these dudes and it like provides a distraction now, of course the real thing is that the covetous demon is so easy in vanilla that there is literally zero oh shit that's a rare attack there is literally zero reason to ever do the flask thing or like the pot thing Jesus Christ I don't even know this thing's attacks I can actually fight him more in the third DLC that one has a little bit more HP god damn okay this is literally this this guy is too fast yeah th this guy is too fast are you fucking kidding me double chug he doesn't seem to have more HP though god can you just stay like what the hell are these attacks I swear I've not seen like half of this shit. Okay, just die. I kinda had a feeling they were gonna pull some shit like this. I was just about to say uh, that the covetous demon is the prime like suspect for a sort of quote unquote difficult remake. You know, as they make him really hard to surprise people. So I kinda thought they were gonna go for that. I didn't think that he was gonna be this fast. Uh, still not that difficult, it just requires a little bit more effort than he normally does, as in... Like, he's by far the most... Like, like biggest pushover of a boss in the entire vanilla game, so... Yeah, anyways... Uh, speaking of that, I'm gonna go for a little bit of... Vigor and endurance for this round of leveling. And I think, how am I doing on consumables? I'm actually not overloaded. I do have a sublime bone dust, which I'm going to use. Whoops. Yeah, burn that shit. And I think we can get back to Earth and Peak. Hold on. One more thing we need to check. Uh, I have six large shards, which means... I can upgrade, so let's just go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead. I did the katana the last time. So that's plus five. This is only plus four. I think we're gonna do this. Oh shit, I have chunks as well. I have one single chunk. Cool, 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 cool. That's nice. Because I did mention this, right? That the Uchi Katana is going to be my main Katana. I'm going to stick with it. Okay, let's get going into Earthen Peak proper. Uh, this area is sort of a... I don't know. This, this one is very nondescript in my view. There is... Oh, hey, you didn't get poisoned. How? I don't think this place is that interesting, honestly. It can be fairly challenging though. Uh, this is one of those places where they... Oh fucking hell, stop swinging. Where they went a little bit overboard in Scholar with just throwing random shitty enemies everywhere. Uh, especially the mannequins. That gets, oh hey! You, I didn't expect. I gotta be careful because I think the archers have poison. They have poison arrows, so... Okay. Well, that is not the best shield in the world. Hey, full moon sickle. That thing is absolutely horrible. Devotee Scarlet. Yeah, she shows up here for some reason. It's something I do like about Dark Souls 2. Uh, this is the only game that they did this in. I mean, FromSoft, that the NPCs show up, the summonable NPCs show up outside of boss encounters as well. Um, 
which does sort of mirror actual summoning a little bit more when you think about it. I think it's kind of cool. That was the pike in the... Yeah, I think it is. Same item. I think that's a cool idea though, the NPCs thing. Because it does give them a little bit more personality, that not all of them are like... clustered around the bosses. What a bitches. Take that. Yeah, this katana is now pretty powerful for where we are currently. Although the en enemies are getting stronger. Oh, shit. A little bit stronger as well. Not by much, though. Okay. My favorite sequence. Let's light the metal of the windmill on fire to drain the poison swamp. Flawless logic, truly. Um, I can't really complain about that. That's how I drain my poison swamps as well. You know, I see a poison swamp, I'm like, get the flamethrower, we're lighting the windmill. Okay, this bonfire is still here. We sort of lose it, this one loses its purpose a little bit that this area, or like the part leading up to this place was easier. Uh, it has like a reason for existing fuck. Uh, in the other version, because you do have to go through quite a gauntlet. Let's go and visit Macduff. Oh yeah, and there's another one here. Bashful Ray. Yeah, that's the one. But this is not Macduff. What is this? Gilligan. Jit. He's Scottish. Look at that stomach. He has to hold it. My 600 pound life. His background looks pretty sick. No. This guy is such a bullshitter. Okay. Two thousand okay, I'll play two thousand souls. I thought it was more expensive than that. Just to see the cutscene. This guy has a unique model as well, I think. He's not he's like Andre. That stomach, holy shit. It's gonna get caught in the rungs of the ladder. Don't even know. I never buy this. Um, so I don't even know where the hell this leads. If it even leads to anything useful. Ferros Lockstone and Twinkling, that's it. Well. <coughs> excuse me, I shouldn't say that's it, because that's not bad, but. I guess when you think about it, that is worth 2k souls, probably. Cool. All right. I think at this point we can pretty much safely speed run this area. That's about all I really wanted to sort of have a look at the ladder guy because I never ever interact with him normally. Let's ch let's just take a look. Nah. See, I was. I was hoping they would put in the old mannequin mask. But that ain't gonna happen. I think there is a mod for that. Th there has to be. There's no way someone didn't think of making that into a mod. Because I think that was... Weird that I did read about the, why they had to change... Oh shit. 
why they had to change the mannequin mask and I think it had to do with some copyright issue uh, with like some anime or manga I'm not sure that it looks similar to one of the characters slash enemies in there and they threw a hissy fit man if you've been following like YouTube some YouTube drama in the like past month maybe you'd know that man like Japanese studios especially like manga and anime studios they get crazy over like copyright stuff like absolutely insane and you know Japanese copyright law is way stricter than most countries and sometimes they just go on crazy like striking spree striking sprees that's a mouthful for you try saying that twice after three vodkas not that I had three vodkas I had zero vodkas don't worry today yesterday was quite different but today I had zero vodkas but anyways yeah so it's it's kind of it's kind of insane you know with that guy who was doing the Dragon Ball videos if you've been following that and he got like crazy copyright struck like like hundreds of his videos were claimed oh is that a mimic is that a mimic though in the vanilla game maybe it is because I was just about to say, do we have our first uh, like fake mimic? That's a healing pool or something. But you know, what's the point of a healing pool when there's a bonfire right here? And it's one of the things. These healing pools they ha they show up quite a few times throughout the game, but there's always bonfires so close by that it's like. Why the hell would I go for that? Oh, is the boy... The boy has to be here, right? Of course the boy is here. You know I have to summon him. This is one of those... This is a to... Oh, shit! These are NPCs too. Thomas? Imagine if he turned out to be hostile. That would be sick. Destroy him, Thomas. Thank you. Did that guy seriously just drop a bleed stone? That is the most random ass drop ever. Ah, uh, dark. I, I don't know what this thing is weak to. I'm assuming not poison. What the hell? Seriously? Thomas, you gotta get better reactions than that. Ugh, man. What an asshole. You know this guy is... Ouch. Even now he's trolling you. Thomas, I mean. He's such a goofy ass boss. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> The fucking forbidden sun. He has a habit of getting this thing into the water though, which is not good because it heals it. Oh shit, did they? Did they? Thomas, you gotta get the fuck out of there. You're healing the boss. Holy. <sighs> There's Souls AI for you. You ask it to do one thing, and it does the exact opposite. Get that! And he's just going for Thomas. I mean, she. I can't, like, she's not... Oh, fucking hell. That is the first time... I've ever seen Thomas die. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? What the hell? That was a crazy quick grab.
Oh yeah? Okay. Fuck! Are you... F Just this game, this mod doesn't fuck around. <laughs> that was insanely ru that that was insanely lucky. Of course she has the increased HP now because of stupid ass Thomas. That is some fogged up tracking on that. Again, most of the time, like, generally, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've zero clue what this boss does. Fuck. That was hard. She's crazy quick. Yeah, I have zero clue what the hell this boss does normally, because, uh, again, it's one of those things where I end up killing her so quickly that... It's like it doesn't even it doesn't even matter what she can or cannot do uh, but here it was different I mean the fact that Thomas got his ass killed was sort of a disappointment he really like was an extra special uh, retard here and yeah it cost him And we've reached the boy, Iron Keep. You know, they've been like messing with the areas for basically all the places up to now in terms of like enemy placements and all that. I really wonder what they did to this place because as you know, this place is infamous for having an absolutely god awful run back to the boss so I'm curious what the what the changes and don't worry I know I have 25k souls we'll go back uh, we'll go back in just a bit I'm waiting for the NPCs yep Dennis oh yeah you wanna go bitch I know a PvP area when I see one and this was the place to be when Dark Souls 2 PvP was popping how the hell do you have poise Nah, this takes me back. What the hell? This takes me back. Shit. Yeah, okay. That was a quick spell. See, the thing is... I've definitely talked about this before, right? But... My philosophy with PvPing and healing was always that if you're looking for a PvP fight like you specifically stay here uh, to get invaded and you heal during mid-battle that's a bit of a shitty thing you know like dueling honor and all that however if you just get invaded by a random player it's all better off run away heal use shitty tactics whatever I mean the dude is specifically there to kill you and take your souls uh, you have to do anything to survive but you know if you like chugging Estus uh, when you're specifically out looking for uh, PvP fights and you're just chugging Estus to win uh, that's kind of a shitty thing that's always been like my personal view maybe I'm wrong and why is she here why why is she here she should be right there next to the bonfire. Seek Seek Lest, what the hell is wrong with you? Now I'm gonna get 30.
I don't even know what stats I'm going for here. I've forgotten. That that bone fist is a little bit tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, she's already saying some good shit. And you know what? I'm gonna go and buy some life gems, because why not? What am I doing on time? We're good, we're good. Oh, fucking hell. I know what I forgot. I talked about this in the last episode, that I should equip the... <sighs> Damn it, I missed out on good souls because of that. And me being an idiot. Oh well, whatever. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna have plenty of souls, so... There's not much to worry about. Okay, let's fight the other invader. Who's the other one? It's uh, some chick, and she uses she uses the that sword that's also like a whip. If she even exists in the oh shit, Fencer Sharon. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, I'm in a bit of trouble. We're like on the eight on the trouble scale especially because somehow some way I was hit by a giant ass arrow you have got to be fucking with me which one of you motherfuckers is okay now I'm in real trouble yeah eat shit boy and you all of you as well Okay, Sharon, you need to let me heal. What a weird name for Sharon. <laughs> feel like they were running out of... God, how do you have poise? Wolf ring wielding assholes. Yeah, get backstabbed. Nice dodge. That boys. Cause I, I literally don't see a single piece of equipment which would scream boys to me. Is she legit about to kill me? She's gonna coom on me with that sword as well. No she's not. I thought that that's what she was gonna go for. Yeah, eat shit, I outpoised you. Where is that gesture? No no No, that's not the one. Where is it? The no, no, no gesture. There it is. No, 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 no. Excellent. See, we solved... We solved every single problem. A little bit with brute force, but who cares? That's weirdo. This guy has a strange accent, too. Let's not make fun of accents. Look who's stalking me. Speaking of weird accents. Holy, you have an Estes Flash Shard 15k. That would be very useful. And I think we will be able to get 15k easily. I just gotta somehow not forget that we need to buy it. Once we're like done with the boss and shit. The question... Well, okay. I just noticed that I'm down to a single Estus, because obviously I am. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is we'll waltz back to the bonfire and I'm going to start wrapping up this episode right here. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Scholar of the First Sin Tales of Drang Lake. Hope you enjoyed. Still, I'm still really having like a lot of fun with both Dark Souls 2 as just Dark Souls 2 and this mod I think this like is still an excellent uh, sort of transformation of the game okay if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe turn on post notifications and I will catch all of you next time peace out and goodbye